Crux is a multi-barrel darts range from the Target 2023 launch featuring perfectly balanced and engineered barrels. I'll be doing an in-depth review of the soft tip and steel tip variations. Crux is clearly the economical choice from this year's launch as it features a natural tungsten finish and lacks color or coating that greatly increase the retail value of darts. There are five total options available, three steel tip labeled 01 through 03, and two soft tip variations labeled 10 and 11, with multiple barrel weights for each option. The common themes they all share are classic radial grooves for optimum grip. They are all 90% tungsten barrels, left with a natural finish for a timeless look and affordable cost. Let's start by comparing the steel tip 01 and the soft tip 10, since they're almost an exact match. They're both a straight barrel shape with consistent diameter throughout, but the soft tip model 10 is noticeably shorter in length than the steel 01, and it has a slightly skinnier diameter. Starting in the rear, we have sort of a hybrid reverse cut past that smooth notch. Reverse cut is also known as shark cut, very aggressive back here. I claim a hybrid situation because the milling alternates between a deep wide cut and a short less deep reverse cut throughout. Your fingers really sink in more, more skin just burrows in there. Past the three center bands separated by two little micro cuts are your classic radial grooves down the front, super timeless cuts, a blunt nose taper down to the natural steel Swiss point here, and the soft tip version as always finishes off straight to fit the 2BA target pixel tip. We rate the overall grip intensity of model one and 10, a surprising four out of five. That shark cut in the rear really means business. Moving on to the steel tip model two and the soft tip model 11, they share similarities, both models have the same milling throughout, the cuts are the exact same, however the barrel shape differs. While soft tip model 11 is a straight barrel shape, steel tip model 02 has an extreme taper into the Swiss point and a subtle taper into the rear. The steel tip model 2 is also longer and has a wider diameter in all weights compared to the soft tip 11. Starting in the rear, we have classic reverse cut, tightly spaced. Then in the center, this is a very unique section. The middle band is separated by very fine micro grooves that are widely spaced, so although it may not look like it, the center is the most aggressive section. Those wider gap rings right there allow your skin to nestle further down into them. Finally, we finish off with another classic shark cut section in the front. We rate the overall grip intensity of model 2 and 11 a 3 out of 5, and the very center section a 3.5 out of 5. Our final outlier barrel is the Steel Tip Model 03. It is unlike anything else in the entire Crux range. We see different milling choices and a totally new barrel shape. We have this almost tall hourglass looking extreme scallop shape going on throughout the dart, which you really don't see too often. So starting in the rear, we have a slight taper up to the smooth notch, little micro grooves there in the rear. Then we have our hybrid extreme scallop in the middle with wider spread and thicker ring cuts tapering inward towards this straight smooth radial bands that interrupt the scallop shape because it's flat, just straight section all of a sudden. Then the same widespread ring cuts that taper upward towards the front section that finishes off with thick radial grooves and a not so blunt nose taper towards the steel Swiss point. I'm definitely the most excited to throw this one. I'm pretty sad there actually isn't a soft tip version of it. To summarize, the Crux range offers variation primarily in the cuts and the grip profiles and slight variation in the barrel shape. So I'll be throwing all five model options now and then we'll end the video with a summary of my thoughts on the grip profiles and how they performed. We're starting off with the Steel Tip 01 model, 22 gram darts. I've swapped out the flights and shafts for the K-Flex system. Uh, my darts seem to lean a little bit to the left when they impact the board, so let me make a grip adjustment, see if that changes anything. That didn't quite, quite seem to do it. I'm going to try one last thing and grip into the rear instead of the center. It does feel better, it is landing straighter. So I think that would be my preference for the Steel Tip 01. Okay, we're shooting the Soft Tip Model 10, 18 gram darts. And I've swapped out the flights and the shafts for the K-Flex system, because I really want to get used to it before I start reviewing it, of course. Got 
Gotta love when an economy range flies so well. My only concern is trying not to grip too far into the rear. Because that shark cut is a touch too aggressive for me. Perhaps some of those finer points will wear down the littlest bit, like maybe by a half a grip intensity point. Do some bullseyes. That one got away from me. You really just will never hear me complain about a nice straight barrel. Skinnier diameter than the steel tip, a little shorter. Let's go for a checkout, 100. Ooh. Let's go double 10. Oh, so dramatic. Moving on to the steel tip model two darts. This is the 21 gram barrel. Tapered ends on either side. I love it. I'm a big fan of the tapered ends and the overall shape of the barrel, especially for someone like me that likes to grip in the rear. Yeah, it lands a lot straighter, a lot better for me than that straight barrel 01 and soft tip model 10. I'll do one more round of bullseyes. I'm gonna hold in the middle. So just see what happens the more aggressive middle. It still feels good, even holding in the more aggressive part, it glides out of the hand. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that I'm not gonna like the soft tip 11 model as much just because it's not copying the same barrel shape as the 02s. It just has similar grip profiles. So let's see how those go. Okay, shooting the soft tip model 11, 19 gram barrel. Might be in a little trouble here because the center is far grippier than the soft tip model 10. Oof. Uh, let's see what happens if I grip in the rear instead of just in the shortcut. The center is too aggressive for me. Let's do some 19s. Ooh, feels better. Ah. Yeah, I think it feels a little better. Let's do some bullseyes. I think I prefer to hold it in the center just because it's a center balance barrel. Ooh, I think that's dead center. Bullseye clearly my favorite segment. Is it? It is dead center. I guess gripping in the rear isn't too bad. Let's go for a 100 checkout. Single 20. I uh, won't be able to do it. Let's leave tops. Okay, tops for the win. New players out there, when you're at a checkout, I highly recommend concentrating your hardest on that very first start. Just get it over with. Ooh, that was a little high. And a good correction. Woohoo, we got last but not least, steel tip 03, 22 gram barrel. Of course I'm gonna hold into the scallop. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. It feels so good. It is such a comfort having a guaranteed place to put your grip without having to look at your dart, which is obviously the point of the scallop. Good correction there. I thought it might be a little weird having kind of that interruption in the middle, but it still feels very intentional. You can feel the taper in and out. As well, especially since I have like a pinch, you know, three finger hold that all comes together. Yeah, 
These just might be my new darts. I definitely had a feeling that the Model 3 was going to be my fave. All right, let's go for a 121 checkout. Oh, just missed. Eighty one scored leaves tops. Tops for the win. Ooh, first dart. <laughs> Always advocate for the first dart. Okay, final thoughts on the Crux range. Each model clearly offers a classic grip profile suitable for most throwing styles, and the range is extremely affordable. So if you're a new player looking to get into darts or looking for a good Christmas gift or birthday gift, these are a solid choice. The Crux range is also good for intermediate players just looking for a way to test out different grip styles like reverse cut, especially the Crux 3 model that I shot last um, with is an especially cool option because scallop grips are just insanely popular and they're only gaining in popularity. And it's just so nice having a clear place to nestle your grip into the dart without having to look for it or even just rest a part of your grip there. So if you've tried scallops before and you thought that they were too intense or too deep set, uh, the Model 3 might be a really awesome experimental option for you. That concludes the in-depth review of every barrel type from the Target Crux range. You can purchase these darts on our website, adzdarts.com. Just look for the links in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this review and the rest of the 2023 launch. Thanks for watching.